Thank God I don't have to drive home. That'll teach me starting at half ten. This vent was never ever vented because it was the uh, level access for the door, so it was just covered in stones. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't start first thing. The sun's coming round now, just about to start. Here we go, we're all set out. Good Saturday morning. Ha, Saturday, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Alex is currently at Liverpool Comic Con dressed as Kylo Ren for Star Wars Day. So I'm um, I'm currently at B&Q Trade Point, which is um, nothing to do with the, well, it's sort of related to the porch. But um, I've been to Berries this morning, got um, got our insulation, 50 mil cavity bats, because we're only doing 50 mil cavity on the porch, and half a ton of ballast for doing the concrete floor on Bank Holiday Monday. Assuming everything goes to plan. Um, what else? Picked up a couple of jointers. They're nearly 10 quid a pop now. We always get the... Oh, the 81. That's the widest. I think it's half, half inch. We always use the fat one. So, um, meant to get pick Alex up a CK brick hammer. A 20 ounce one, but it was 34 quid with the vat, so I think we'll probably find one cheaper online. I like berries, but I don't like them that much to pay over the odds for the for the hammer. Um, plus, he can buy his own. We don't know who lost it, so it's his hammer, so he can buy his own hammer. Um, B and Q is. I mean, I'm looking at worktops because in our utility, we've got a useless sink in the middle of the work worktop in the centre of it. So Christine wants that to go, and the plan is. Uh, get a new worktop, rip the old one out, get rid of the sink, so we've got a full worktop. Take the tumble dryer which is in the kitchen, put that into the utility room where there's currently a cupboard. Because we don't need, we've got a, um, a what's it called? Heat pump, tumble dryer, so they don't need to be vented. And um, the way the soil pipe is in the utility, we couldn't vent a, a, a dryer. so. I had a thought and thought, right, we'll, we'll put that in there. We get a small thing covered between the two appliances, and then we can get a tall larder unit where the dryer is now. And then we can, Christine can put whatever she likes in there, and that's going where the coats are, which eventually going in the porch. So everything's related. So while I'm up here, I'm up at Bamber Bridge today. So I've been to Berries at Leyland, and this is the Bamber Bridge being queue. So, um, I'm going to look in here and see what they've got. I've just had a look in berries, they didn't really have anything to match. And I think it's about 78 quid for a 3 metre length. We don't need 3 metres, I know you can get them shorter in wicks, so, but there's not many wicks about, so I'm going to have a look in here and see what they've got. And then it's the rain's staying off, so I better get back and start doing some brickwork. I was going to leave it today, but um, the longer it's done, the better chance we've got when we whacker it on Monday. So I'm going to go for a wander in here, go and have a look at the work tops and and I'll have a look at the tools, which I always do. And um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully, I'll come back with a small bit top. Right, porch update. Um, no, no, um, no work touch me and Q. So that's uh, that's put on the back burner now. I've sat and had the sausage, sausage and egg muffin, and coffee and plodded along. And been to B&Q and I don't want to run around, to, well, basically wasted an hour. I thought coming up the motor thought I'm sure we're short of buff brick for the porch. So I've dived in to um, Hughes Grey at uh, uh, Wrightington and um, I managed to get the name of the bricks when we worked for Gleason and they're called Fort Era Harbour of Buff. I just assumed they've discontinued and um, Hughes Grey, they own what used to be called Lee Concrete in Warrington. The place to go for bricks. It still is the main place for bricks. You've got Brick Straw and Wigan, you've got uh, Hughes Grey Stroke Lee Concrete in Warrington. So I just went in there on the off chance because there's, there's an alternative we can get, but I'd rather get the right ones. Um, so I just, he, he typed it all in, he said, right, he said, uh, St. Helens branch, you've got 10,000. I said, right, well, thank, thanks, where, where's that? Not, well, not where's that, what's the address? 
so he's typed the address in for me. Sat and I've saying 32 minutes and it's 3 minutes to 11 now and he's shut at 12 so I'm currently in Wrightington and I'm half, away, half, an, half an hour away from St Helens. So it's a mad dash on, a, on the Saturday before bank holiday weekend because um, I don't know if said we've got skill builder film with us on Tuesday so there's no opportunity to get the bricks before Tuesday without us going on Tuesday morning. So I'm currently on my way following the sat nav which is switched itself off. There you go. And um, heading down there and I'm just going to, I don't even know how many you need. We're just going to get 60. He said he's got 10,000 but they're discontinued so this is my last chance to get these bricks so I might even get 80 just to make sure. Um, Gleason built, built a load of houses in, in our town with them, three old estates out of them. So um, I, it'd be nice to get the right bricks. So as I say, on a mad dash, just about to jump on the M6 and get myself down there. So fingers crossed we'll make it in time and they won't stop us going in and loading up and I'll see you in St Helens. Eleven thirty-one. Happy days, all right. And that's them there. That pack there. So they're obviously advertised because they're discontinued. Have a quick look. Bear with me a second. That's them. They're our, our exact house brick. Yeah, bad memories of using them at Gleason. They're all sizes and shapes. Right. Let's get in there and get them all. Right. Currently on my way home through St Helens. About 20, 20 minutes away from home. I've switched to Santa Fe now because I know where I am. And the amount of times we finish late and we forget stuff and we've had a crap day, we're frustrated and that horrible tight feeling in your chest and you're frustrated and um, what's the word? Stressed. Yeah, stressed. Everyone feels the stress, but anyway, got there bang on time. Got there, they were dead. Everyone's waiting to go home. There's nobody in there, and um, the guy in the yard just took me down in the van, loaded me straight in the van. So um, we got 60 of the Des Desford old Desford Multis buff Desford. Buff Multis, I think they're called. I think so. I'll write it on the screen anyway. But I've got a 60. So we've got enough to see us through the day when Roger and Dylan are down on Tuesday. And if we do need any more, it's not a million miles away to, to get them. And they've got 10,000 in stock. And the best thing is they were 51 pence each, which just, that's cheaper than Concrete Commons. Because they're discontinued, they've got a load left that they can't sell. They're 51 pence each. So oh, <laughs> I wish I knew someone. It was having an extension and I'd get a load of them stocked up and put somewhere because that's that's ridiculously cheap you just don't get bricks that cheap anymore so um, I'm gonna get home now and it's still not raining so I'm gonna get out there and get the brickwork set out it's all lintels at the bottom to right pain but um, as it's only a porch I'll be able to multi throw my Todd and it's reds up to DPC so yeah, dead chuffs. Got, got, the, got the ballast we nearly didn't get and got the bricks we nearly, nearly didn't get. So yeah, happy days. Happy Saturday. I might see you in a bit when I start bricklaying. Right. I've had my dinner, it's about half one, finally out. So there's our level. And then I'm going to start setting out now. I'm pretty sure it's 2.3 by 1.3. So let's see what happens.
we go, we're all set out. Gonna have to get another lintel because that's quite a span that. Got a 1500 lintel. I'm tempted to use the whole lintel across there. I'll have to see. 1500, we've got a. That's a 700, that's about a 750. So um, we'll see. The big, big ones going on this outside skin. Uh, there won't be any block on the inside skin because of the door. And then we'll settle some over there. Uh, that, as you see the concrete's dropped where I've tried to take the shuttering out when it's wet so that's going to need bedding up that concrete's hard up there, 15 mil so we can get that we'll just get that with tight beds and um, we've got to build around that bloody water meter so far so good I'm just going to knock up a little mix with the uh, the drill and the mixer and uh, bed, the, bed all the lintels into position and then we're ready to go then and then I think me and Chris are going off to sell cosy this afternoon to buy the front door let's get this mix done off this porch just keeps battling me all the way I've not filmed it because the camera's charging but I've just spent the last half an hour probably longer cutting out concrete underneath the pipe there it's completely concreted in so that ends free so I can start leveling it ready for the pipe bedding to go in all this and this end is very very tight but I think it's just the shuttering that's keeping it tight so I might just man mash it with the reciprocating saw in the morning Obviously I've made it more difficult putting all the lintels in the way, but I needed to get it set out today. <clears throat> I was hoping to get further than that, but I'm a, I'm a lame horse, so. <laughs> so anyway, I'm knocking off now, I'm going to jump in the car with Christine and head off to Selco and get this door ordered, which is going here. Gates the wall, and then it's going to have a return. You see the return there, you see the pencil mark. So you have the cavity wall return plus a nib bit of a nib on it and then the door will open further back then and then we've got 500 back from the door for coach to go on that end window in this elevation looking out and a lean-to roof like that and that's going on the side over the back door so anyway let's go and get this door to order right Sunday the 5th of May and it's ooh, 25 past 10 bit of a lion today Alex has gone to a uh, day two of Comic Con. Christine's off shopping so I've um, run the hoover around inside and then got myself out here. So I've just got this pipe to sort out now which is doing me head in. Once that's done I can get cracking and I'll get half a mix in and I'm going to get this up to DPC. I just want to get on with it but this pipe is doing my head in. So anyway let's get this pipe done and um, we can make some progress. Then.
drains have been a bane of my life. It cost us so much time. They're done as best I can get them. At worst, they've got the level, but um, two downspouts coming off a roof straight into them and a rod in either. This is silo mix, you never match that exactly. And um, yeah, I'm going to get this side running first and then um, work my way around. So uh, let's get some bricklaying done. Okay. These are our good bricks, these are our scrappers, so I'll put these in the bottom three courses. And I've got a three quarter in it, which is a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. That's the measurement. Couldn't go any bigger, because the meter couldn't go any smaller, because I get killed by Christine. How do you? Right. Still in the old.
fresh battery, it's half one. I need to go for some dinner before I start to death. Um, I just want to get this bit of motor used up on this front and run this bit work up to um, up three. So all the commons are done, and then the last two are the face brick at the that pile of eleven there. They're the good ones. Everything else is commons. I'm just using up all the crap out of the carriage. So um, got the line on the back of the wall because obviously the water meter won't let it go through the front of the wall. And then once we get up to DPC level, we'll be able to cut lintel over that with a little, little piece of angle line or an, um, I might even use a piece of slate. It's, it's, it's only going to be half a brick over, so back to time lapse will I get this front up to common level and carry on. Corners up to DPC, got my bond, which is getting swapped on the corner. I've got three quarters in the middle, I've got three quarters on the sides, which is just the pits, but it is what it is. I've got measurements to keep to, and that's 2.99 meters squared. That so, um, we're 0 0.01 inside the um, permitted development size, and um. Sun's back out again now. I'm gonna to have to put a half a mix in after dinner, and I'll fill the cavity in as best I can because we've got a whack of this tomorrow, and the walls aren't even up yet. So um, yeah, I'd rather have done this yesterday, but the weather was a bit crap and it's all been running around yesterday. <clears throat> but we're getting there. Clearing my garage of crap as well. So um, yeah, there's just a couple of showing that back, back, full course. Oh yeah, we're gonna smash through below in hardcore level run the pipe across on top of that common interest into the cavity because in the cavity will be open and we'll put an air brick in the top top course the reds got plenty of air bricks so I'm going to pick up at the garage when I go for my dinner but I'm going for some late lunch so I'll see after lunch right smashed a hole there underneath these periscopic vents just see the black sleeve down there I'll zoom in if you can't see it it is. I'm going to cut a hole in it now. Slide that piece of pipe in. Plenty of vents on here. And this vent was never ever vented because it was the uh, level access for the door, so it's just covered in stones. It's never been, that's the longest it's ever been open to the air. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just pipe it into the cavity, and then this cavity is going to be open up to DPC, and then I'm going to have a vent at the front here above it. That's it. And it's pipe cut. Five broke his back, 
that'll teach him starting at half ten. But oh, there we go. Fill the cavity as best he can so we can get the whacker in tomorrow. This is the pipe. Just pipe goes through into the cavity there and then the cavity's all open and there's a vent there. <coughs> so I'm just going to nail the pattern up the wall here, put a line up and run in, and this is just a tiny little return here for the door. Off the drive home. There it is. 1.3 by 2.3. Still loads of back filling and all kinds of stuff to do. Prep the slab tomorrow, get it concreted tomorrow. Ready for Roger on Tuesday. Tuesday the 7th. If I'd started at 8 o'clock, I'd have been finished it before before quarter to four. Anyway, Alex with me, probably been done by dinner. Oh God, just getting in and out has just done me in. In a lot of pain now. I'm going to struggle tomorrow. I could do the day off. But uh, 
I'll try and get this done as quick as possible, maybe have the afternoon off. We'll see. Um, I've been thinking I'm going to cut the cavity out there purely to keep it warm in the hole because it does get quite drafty in the hole so that's going to have the cavity continuous it's going to be a lot better even though it's only a small cavity so um, that reminds me I just need to cut out the profile holes put the mixer away and get in mm -hmm. 